tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So, look, check this out, man. Hey, the dude's been going crazy, man. I'm finna recline a little bit, man. Hey, we, they, we got the club going up on a Tuesday with the boxing dudes. Going up, going up on a Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? So, the boxing news today, man, we have more news today, and that news is that, you know, apparently, Jaime Munguia has said, hey, man, things weren't looking too golden over there in Golden Boy. You know what I'm talking about? Oscar De La Hoya. So apparently he done got up out of there, man. Apparently he has left Golden Boy and he has decided to go with his current existing promoter, Zanford, and partner up in a co-promotional deal with Bob Ehrman Top Rank. I said, yo, man, I know, I know for a fact that, you know, Oscar, this came out of... I ain't going to say he came out of left field. I'm pretty sure that he probably had some type of inkling or knowledge about it, but I know it's not what he wanted. You know, with Golden Boy, of course, you know, Jaime Mungi is one of the big stars. He just famously fought Canelo and lost. I, I, I fucked him. But, you know, I brought in a ton of revenue. And then, of course, so now he lost him. And then, of course, you got Ryan Garcia, cheating ass. You know, he... um. He's suspended. So, but you know, but it's not all bad. You know, he just signed to deal with 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 Big Turk. You know, so that's good. He signed to deal with that. They didn't disclose or expound upon the details, but you know, it's going to be fruitful. Uh, at least, at least, there's going to be a financial gain there. And then, um, he still has Virgil Ortiz. You know, he has a fight coming up August 10th. Part of that, uh, that deal with uh, Turkey Al Sheik. You know, Big Turk and over there. So, you know, he's going to be fighting Sir He Boachuk on August 10th. So, and, yeah, it's, it's, things aren't all bad. But I know he didn't want to lose uh, Jaime Munguia. But the funny thing is about this, though, you know, but this, this is just according to reports, like I said. So, don't shoot the messenger once again. This is uh, the sources are uh, ESPN D Deportes and um, and Michael Benson on Twitter as as, as, as in addition to, um, man, what's my guy's name, man? Uh, Salvador, Salvador, uh, uh, ESPN. You know, he's uh, also, he, he's letting this know that, uh, man, Jaime Munguia has apparently opted out, uh, and, and decided to uh, pick up or to pick up with a, a co promotional deal with Top Rank, you know, and leave Golden Boy. But the funny thing is, is that these, these talks, if you remember, these talks happened in 2018 as well. So it was rumored that he was going to go with Zed for his current promoter and, and Top Rank, you know, and a co promotional deal, something to this now. So I guess it just got postponed a couple years, you know, and he decided to go another route, at, probably after suffering his first loss. And I heard some rumbling still that I don't want to release because I, I can't confirm, but I've heard some rumblings that, you know, there was some things going on 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 the inside it was a happy it was just funny because it just makes me think about how oscar during the build-up between uh canelo and javi mcgee how oscar and 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 Candela were going back and forth, uh, <laughs> and then you know now he lost Jaime Magia, and you know Candelo gave that warning, talk about bad business, and it just seems to show his face again. Uh, and yeah, you know before that, you know Ryan Garcia, and Oscar weren't on the same page, but then they made amends. So you know uh, that just happens in business sometimes. But I, I just think I just think that, that that's it's, of course not a good look, you know. But like I said, it's not it's not, it's not all down and negative, right? He still has uh, Virgil Ortiz, who's his big star. He still has William Zapay, I, I, I forgot to say him. And he still has Floyd Kidd, Austin Schofield, amongst some other fighters. But, you know, it's definitely, Jaime McGee was definitely one of his bigger fighters. And, uh, yeah, he lost another one, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. Do you think that it matters? Uh, do you think that it's a big deal or not, man? But also, too, Jaime McGee, so he's going to be returning for his fight, first fight back since lose, since suffered his first loss to Old Cinnamon. He's coming back on the 20th, and he will be fighting uh, Eric Bet. Eric Bazinian, Eric Bazinian. So we'll look forward to that fight on September 20th. Um, and yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Jaime McGee is no longer with Golden Boy Promotions, man. He is with Top Rank and Bob Barham. Oh, stealing. Bob Barham out there stealing, man. Hey, that's business, though. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. Hey, the doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.